Hey everybody here with a response for Ricky Russo. He was recently showing an Isaiah Thomas autograph. The current Isaiah Thomas, not the Pistons legend. But yeah, he was showing that card and saying that a few years ago it was worth way more than what it's worth now. And so he just wanted us to show a card that kind of fits that mold. Just something that you either bought or pulled a few years ago that was worth way more that you really can't get rid of now. Now that's where my response is a bit different because I'm not really trying to get rid of these cards that I'm going to show. But yeah, definitely I can get significantly less than what I would have got years ago. Let's go with this first one. This Blake Griffin rookie auto from Panini Contenders. Or actually, this is back when they still called it Playoff Contenders. And around this time was kind of when I started buying hobby boxes again. Like for many years, I really wasn't buying boxes or really any singles either. I just went through many years where I was somewhat out of the hobby, especially for basketball. But around this time, I was kind of testing the waters a bit, trying to see if I could get back interested in it. Bought a box of this and pulled the top pick that year, Blake Griffin. And he actually didn't play that first year. A lot of people forget that he sat out the entire year with an injury, which I thought was going to happen to Zion this year. But yeah, once he started playing, really took off, was on the highlights every night with like spectacular dunks. And for a few years, there became one of the most popular players in the league. Like, again, a lot of people have forgotten that now, but he was definitely one of the faces of the NBA for like a handful of years. So that was my window right there. That's when I, I guess, should have moved this card. It was easily a triple digit card, but I just didn't want to sell it. Like a lot of you are starting to learn about me a bit. Like even when a card is hot, like I just... I usually get attached to the card and don't want to move it. Not that I'm rolling in money or anything, but really if I would have sold it back then, still wouldn't have been like life-changing money or anything. So in a lot of cases, I just rather have the card instead of a few extra bills in my pocket. Because again, for those that don't know why this dropped in prices, because he's been injured the past few years and really I don't think he'll ever reach that level of popularity again, but do not regret hanging on to that at all. Next one is pretty much the same exact story. The following year, I bought another box of contenders and pulled the number one pick from that year, John Wall. This was actually a redemption that I pulled and entered the redemption. That might have actually been the first time I ever entered a redemption online. and can't remember how long it took, but eventually got the card. And again, pretty much the same story. Like a few years into the league, he became really popular and this card was really expensive. But again, I didn't cash in on it, just I liked the card, I liked the player, so held on to it. And again, same story as Blake, like the past few years he's been hurt. I think it's going on two years now that he hasn't played. So this is worth maybe half as much, maybe less than half, but again, don't really regret not getting rid of it. Still like the card. Again, I'd rather have both these cards than the money that I have, because the money I'd have, I probably would have spent it by now anyway, so I'd much rather have the cards. But there it is, Ricky. Not sure this was exactly what you were looking for out of this response, but good enough, I guess. So I'll be talking to you guys again next time.